Hey, hello guys. How are you all? Hope you all are absolutely rocking. So today we have with us one of the latest and the fast selling bike in the Pulsar series, the Pulsar NS200. The Bajaj Pulsar 200 NS is initially launched in the year 2012. Bajaj Auto later launched the Pulsar AS200 in 2015 and discontinued the Pulsar 200 NS. The company relaunched the 200 NS in 2017 and named it as NS200 instead of 200 NS. And the motorcycle is now available with ABS options as well. The ABS is from Bosch with a 300 mm disc and the non ABS variant gets 280 mm disc. The braking system is the same that can be found on the Pulsar RS200. After the launch of the NS200, the Pulsar AS200 was discontinued. The Pulsar NS200 is a sports bike in Pulsar lineup which has been a favorite of many. A lot of the people don't know what the NS stands for and let me tell you guys, the NS stands for Naked Sport. The Pulsar NS200 has a single cylinder four stroke triple spark ignition and liquid cooled engine it uses a pressed steel frame and a box section swing arm it doesn't have its exhaust hanging on one of the other sides but has an underbelly exhaust and the rear shock observers on this bike are of nitrox charged mono shock suspension as per the statistics of bajaj we can say that the pulsar ns200 is currently the most selling street performance bike in india the first impressions on the bike would be like the bike has a lot of power and torque. It feels like a ready to race machine. The one which I am riding is an ABS version and uh, the braking is perfect I would say. The machine doesn't hesitate to be revved. Let me be frank here and tell you guys the seating position and the placement of the foot pegs are in a very comfortable angle and you sit straight without bending forward. But both the rider and pillion seats are very hard and you might definitely want to modify the seat and add some extra foam if you want a comfortable riding experience on this bike. The Pulsar has an engine of 200cc, 199.5cc to be more precise. It has a 4 valve single overhead camshaft liquid cooled single cylinder which produces a power of 23.5 PS at 9500 RPM and 18.3 Nm at 8000 RPM. Bajaj claims the top speed of NS200 is 141 km per hour under specific conditions. This has an ignition type of CDI triple spark self only and doesn't have the option of kick start. The headlight on this bike is not an LED one but it gets the LED pilot lamps. The NS200 gets a 6 speed linear gear that means the first gear would be a downshift and the remaining are the upshifts. The suspension on the front is a telescopic front fork with anti friction bush and the rear has a mono shock suspension with nitrox which is 7 step adjustable. The bike gets 100 by 80 17 inch tubeless tire on the front and 130 by 70 17 inch tubeless tire on the rear coupled with disc brakes on both the front and rear wheels. The height of the bike is 1075 mm which might be a little on the difficult side to rest the feet comfortably for the people whose height is 5.6 and below. Pulsar NS200 gets a tank with a fuel capacity of 12 liters and the company claims a mileage of 37 kmpl in city riding conditions and 41 kmpl on highways. I think I have covered most of the specifications and features of the Bajaj Pulsar NS200. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you liked it. Please smash the like button if you like the video and uh, do share the video with your friends and family uh, who are looking to purchase this bike. And uh, let me tell you guys there is a lot more interesting stuff coming on my channel. I'm just trying to upload at least one video per week. So do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching the video. Let's meet in my next video. Till then keep smiling and never back down. Jai Hind.